Hi there, and welcome to my favorite time of the year. This is the 2020 Motor Trend Best Driver's Car right here on WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. Behind me are some absolutely incredible performance cars, and it's great to know what I think of how they drive or maybe what you think of how they drive, but how are they to drive if you put a professional behind the wheel? Well, that is what we are here to find out. These are the Best Driver's Car Hot Labs brought to you by Tire Rack. Randy Popes is about to get in the cars. Let's go. Perhaps the most anticipated contender at this year's Best Driver's Car is the mid-engine Chevrolet Corvette, Motor Trend's 2020 Car of the Year. For those of you who live under rocks, for the first time in its 65 year history, the Corvette small block V8 is located behind the driver. Also, forget about a manual transmission as the C8 only comes with a quick shifting dual clutch unit. With only 495 horsepower, the new Corvette is down on power compared to much of this year's field. However, this Z51 example sports GM's latest and greatest version of its all-conquering magnetic damping system. Remember, we didn't give this Corvette the industry's highest honor because we like the color. The new Corvette is good. Let's see what Randy thinks of it. Sure puts the power down. So different from the old car. Much more sophisticated than the C7. Corvette exhaust note. <laughs> That's a good thing. He's a sweetheart. more refined car than the C7 ever was. Huge step forward, and the money's not that different. I mean, the Corvette's always been a lot of bang for the buck, but the C8 gives you some refinement, some real handling to go with that fantastic, fantastic exhaust note and big V8 power and torque curve. Transmission was faultless, just beautiful. I mean, rem reminiscent of the PDK, yep. Porsche's holy grail in automatics. This dual clutch rivals it. Worked great. Now, how do we turn on the air? There we go. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, man, who has the greatest job in the world, Johnny? <laughs> I really like this Corvette. Huge step forward for the right? Corvette. Right? It's so refined. This car actually handles, it, it's so much more controlled and, and just- And mature, mature. mature. It's the, you don't word. have to make excuses like, one day it'll be great. If they do this, it'll be great. It's like, it's kind of great out of the box. Yeah, it is, it, it, it works. It, it's world-class handling for the first time, yeah. frankly. It's not brutal. The other car, you always thought, you're like you're in a wrestling match or a boxing match. This car, man, you're you're lined up and feeling good. So speaking of the last car, which was a C7, it was a Corvette Stingray Z51. That car did a 138.28, I want to say. You think you went quicker or slower in the mid-engine? I thought I was flying. I mean, the car feels quick. You were quicker. 
Uh, you weren't that much quicker though. This car did a 137.83. So four tenths, a little better than four tenths. What tire is it on? This is on street tires. These are Michelin PS4s. What? Um, yeah, I, this is the this is the base Corvette. This, you know. Oh. But I will say it's the only car in the whole competition that isn't on our compound tires. Even the big old SUV that Porsche is on courses. Yeah. So. Well, great performance for what it was on. Yeah. I and mean, remember, this is the base Corvette, and we know bigger, faster, meaner, crueler ones are coming. And there you have it, everybody. This was the hot lap for the Chevrolet Corvette Z51. Thanks for watching.